Hello, everybody. I'm here at the place. I told you it was a little kind of on the shady, dodgy side. It is a body shop. And the Mini is, uh, I've just put it there, it's like half on the sidewalk. And there are all these cars, they, they, they fix them up and they sell them. He says that this one doesn't have, hasn't been in a major accident. It, you know, it has a clean title. Um, which means if, it, if it's been rebuilt from the ground up, they, they call it a, a rebuilt title. And this is also a high-end Mercedes, this is the Coupe. I should ask how much this one is. But uh, this is the one I came to see. He gave me the key. Obviously, it's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> There's like six cars. <laughs> uh, it, it's very dirty, you know. Um, it's supposed to be. Okay, let me just do the uh, little click, click thing. It's very dirty. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't even be surprised if the battery is flat. Oh, it worked, you know. Now let's have a look inside. <coughs> It's supposed to be 100,000 original kilometers. Oh, it's got the, see, it's got the power seat thing be there. Now, this car, it still didn't have the, it didn't have the push button start. You still have to put the key in, like that. I'm going to see forward a little bit. I don't know, I don't think... It, <laughs> Usually I can just quickly look at a car and get an idea, get a feel of whether it's a genuine... And this is supposed to be very low. It's supposed to be 102,000 kilometers. It's showing a bad thing. It doesn't look to me like a car that's done only 102,000 kilometers, you know? Uh, but, I mean, look, the seats are not torn or anything. They're just dirty. They just need cleaning. They're not torn. They're not, they're not super worn. Um, yeah, let's do this. Um, and see if there's any. Uh, there is, you know what? There's actually a full uh, manual and everything in here. Look, uh, uh, let me see if there's any paperwork. I'm going to put this on pause for a second. It actually seems to have the paperwork here, you know? Uh, this is a warranty thing that originally came from Mercedes. And it's got the uh, the earlier servicing. They're all, you know, uh, it, it gives you the date. Uh, January 28th, 05. It had done 17,000 kilometers. The next servicing, January 23rd, 07. Two years later, it had done 33,000 kilometers. And then um, uh, January 16th, 09. 43,000. Looks genuine, you know? Uh, right up to 2000, I just saw 2015. Now, 2015, they didn't take it to Mercedes-Benz anymore. They take it to McNally Auto, who are Mercedes-Benz um, specialists, and they attach their card, but they filled in the, they, they filled in the mileage, 95,000 kilometers, um, repair order, uh, what it needed, you know, the uh, 5W40, that's the uh, synthetic oil. Uh, and then the last one was 2016, 96,000, you know? Uh, and then that was the last one. So after that, you know, I don't know what happened to the car, you know? But uh, uh, the, the, uh, before the next oil change, before the next servicing, the person just traded it or the person passed or something happened, you know? So, you know what? It's actually confirmation. It's unbelievable. And it's certified too, you know? Um, he, you know, they will certify it. And he said, I said, did you fix it up here? Is it a body shop? Or was it? And he says, no, no, there was no accident. I don't know where they got it. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to look at this carefully. Now, it's not exactly the car that I want, you know? Uh, so, let's see. Uh, let me, let, one second, I'll put this thing back in. I just started it up. I just started it up, you know? Now, there is a navigation system here. See, look, navigation system for the year. <laughs> Somebody who's listening to like the Indian radio station. Uh, all of this reminds me a little bit of the 2004 C Class I had. It had the same, but much simpler. It didn't have the navigation. Didn't have the real wind. I didn't even have a sunroof. You know, uh, that was like the the bottom of the line for 2004. This was the top of the line. You know. Um, actually sounds pretty good you know uh, and it's got now it's got a massaging yeah m i think is that for massaging or is this for memory it's supposed to have a massaging seat now, i'm not sure which button you press uh, it's got heated seats it's got power it's got you know it's got the wood grain it's got uh, you know the the little my car also had this little 
cup holder that folds out like that, you know? And, and this got the... Uh, is a kind of a console thing there. I think that was meant to be flipped. That's something. Um, it's not, not, not a bad car. <laughs> it just needs really clean to be cleaned up. It needs a really good cleaning and detailing. Let me have a look outside. It's very, very dirty, you know? I don't know how long it's been sitting here, you know? It's filthy, you know? Um, so that was the difference. Remember the Acura? It looked like new, you know? Um, because it was uh, sitting there cleaned up and it was on the thing. Um, this is the typical, you know, S-Class of that uh, model, uh, 2002, I think, up to 2007 was the shape, you know? Uh, it, and this is the one that still has the uh, uh, the standing up emblem. I talked about that on the uh, podcast I did on my own old car and uh, compared it to a newer one. Um, but the one I compared it to was my friend's 2017. This is still very old. This is 2000 and for, you know, it's not a bad car, <laughs> not exactly what I want, you know, but, you know, I think it'll, it'll, you know, what they call it, diamond in the rough, not even, it's not even that, it doesn't need any work, it just needs a wash, that's all, it needs a wash, um, and the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the records are kind of intriguing, now, how is it that the, it went up to 2017 and then it just stopped, it's completely stopped, now, I'm not sure why this this looks a little out of alignment to me, the door. I think the car has been in an accident, that's why it's here, you know. Um, but, but it's not one that, you know, it was not branded on the actual ownership. The inside is not bad. It could be. It could be a gin, you know. Uh, but 2016 to 2022, it's supposed to have done only four or 6,000 kilometers. Possibly whoever had it just took it off the road, they got another car, it was sitting... You know, somebody passed, something like that happened. Um, and they have, how it ended up here, I don't know. You know, they put it up in an auction or what? You know, it's not a bad car. You know, uh, I, I still like that Acura more, but I mean, this is a top end Mercedes Benz, you know, <laughs> and for the same money with the lower kilometers. This is only a hundred thousand. That was 137,000. So lower kilometers, a car that was like, Forty thousand dollars more when new. Uh, that was like seventy. This was like one hundred and ten back in two thousand and four. Smells pretty good, actually. It smells it smells like leather, you know. I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to the um, you know the, the, this guy was just one of the body shop workers. So I have to talk to. The, I think this is a separate sales guy. So I'm going to have, I'm going to have to think about this one. Okay. Anyway, uh, I've seen it. You know, uh, uh, I might even actually consider it. Uh, uh, yeah. If I can find out the story, what happened to the car from 2016 till now? Yeah, if there's a, um, but right up to 2016, there's every single servicing, every, every kilometer is accounted for, you know, at, at Mercedes-Benz, right up to the last one, which was at a place that wasn't uh, officially Mercedes-Benz, but they specialized in Benz. You know, there are places like that. So all of that checks out. The only thing is what happened, what happened to this poor car in those, the next five years? You know, uh, a friend of mine said, I, I, I kind of anthropomorphized my cars and I was going, oh, I did my mini getting jealous or whatever, or my old Mercedes getting jealous. I don't think my old Mercedes would be jealous of this because these are, this is a completely different style of old car, old Mercedes. And, you know, uh, uh, I almost feel like rescuing this now. It's like a rescue car or a rescue cat, you know? It's like, why is it sitting here like this? You know, it's being neglected. It's a nice car. It's got, uh, it's got uh, you know, surface records. Uh, and it's only 100,000 kilometers. I, wow! That's uh, 60,000 miles. You know, this was like $110,000, $120,000 new back in 2004. The S-Class now will cost you, you know, uh, $180,000. You know, uh, they're fancy. Uh, hello, everybody. Here I am in the Mini again. Now, the salesman. So they have... Um, uh, uh, a body shop and, uh, you know, a mechanic shop here. And they've also got, so I think the sales kind of uh, division 
is uh, he's got a little office and there's a separate salesman. And I think he does other stuff too. <laughs> he's off doing things and he finds cars and they have like uh, six to eight cars. And most of them are ones that they, they you know, fix up because it's a body shop. So they get it. And they, now this one, he says that they didn't actually need to do any body work on it. He got it somewhere at an auction. He found it at an auction. He goes around and he's not there today. He's off looking for cars at auctions so, and stuff like that. So uh, he got it at an auction. And as I said, I showed you the uh, the uh, paperwork goes until 2016, and then it goes uh, it, it goes off the radar. Uh, so from 2016 till now, 2021, I think they've had it here for a couple of months. So in five years, the car did only I think 4,000 kilometers. It went from 96,000 or 90, 96,000 to 102. It did 6,000 kilometers in um, six years. However, uh, before that, it was doing about 6,000 kilometers a year, but it was all documented. It was, you know, a Mercedes at first, and then the last one was at a uh, non-Mercedes dealership, but one that specialized in uh, servicing Mercedes. So, it, 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 you know, it's got the paper trail up to five years ago, and that's a mystery. So if somebody got it then, and then they sometimes, uh, unethical people do that, they disconnect the, uh, 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 you know, the odometer, and then they use it. They build up the mileage and it doesn't show in the car and then they reconnect it. You know? Now, I don't think that's the case in this. I think that the car actually, um, you know, something happened. And he thinks that too. He goes, something happened for five or six years. He said that when they got it, the battery was flat. It needed brakes. But, you know, and it had been sitting a very long time. So I suspect somebody, you know, passed, you know, an older car like that. Somebody bought it new, didn't use it much, an older person, and it happens. And then it, uh, after they passed, uh, the relatives just leave it for a while and they're thinking, do we keep it, do we not keep it, uh, whatever, and, you know, uh, and it just sits on the driveway or wherever, uh, um, you know. Uh, so something like that. I'm going to have to talk to the salesperson, to the salesman about this. But, um, you know, as far as I can tell, it's got paperwork. I mean, right up to 2016. So those, those five mystery years I have to kind of find out about. But uh, if there is a satisfactory explanation of, for that, and it's very dirty. But And he said, you know, you tell the guy, you can get somebody to wash it for you. Too. And I said, you know what? I've been doing this for so long. I don't really need to. I can get a pretty good idea of, you know, I can visualize that car clean. It's, and as far as I can tell, there's no rust. Uh, you know, um, as far as I can tell, it's, 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 you know, it's a very clean car. And the interior, as I, as I said at first, it seemed like, you know, didn't look, but that's just because it's so dirty and I got thrown off a little bit. But uh, those seats are not torn or worn or anything. That is, I think, consistent with 102,000 kilometers. So, and the, the, the body shop guy, he's the one I talked to. Uh, and he's driven it. He says, I drove it. He says, it drives beautifully. There's no problems with the uh, with the suspension, which was an issue with those cars, with that model. And he said, you know, the uh, as far as he knows, uh, the navigation works. It works. And when I turned it on, it came on. The, uh, the air conditioning works. I'd have to check all. You know what? I'm seriously interested in this car. I, I'm going to talk to the guy, and if we can work out something, then I have to call insurance and see if they can, because it's not on the list. This is not a coupe or anything. This is just a regular sedan, and it's not all that old. Uh, it's 18 years. You know, it's not over 20 years old, and it's it's just a regular sedan, top of the line. But it's not it's not it's not a rare older Mercedes, so it's not on their list. So I'm going to have to look into all of this. So, you know what? There's another car I'm going to go see. Um, not too far from here. Uh, now, it's a, it's a nicer model. It's one that I would prefer, CLS. But it's not on their list uh, either. You know, it's not a coupe. It's, they call it a coupe, but it's got four doors. But it's got a, lines of a coupe. Uh, but that one has the mileage you would expect for a 2006. Uh, it's got... Uh, 200,000 kilometers, you know? Uh, so even though I would prefer that model, with that model with 200,000 kilometers and this one with 100, I would take this uh, at the same price. That's also exactly the same price. So between the two, I would take this, you know? So, uh, because I, you know, the, the, the possibility of 100,000 original documented kilometers, 
I don't think I could pass that up. <laughs> and it's got a clean title, you know. So it, it has not been, you know, rebuilt, you know. So, and it, uh, I saw the ownership. They've got a temporary ownership in the glove box, a uh, photocopy, and it said brand. You know, if the car has been rebuilt, if it's been branded as salvage and then rebuilt, it says on the uh, on the ownership, it goes rebuilt. It says salvage. Uh, but this is a uh, this is a clean title, you know. So even if there have been accidents, and I'd have to check on Carfax. I'm getting a little excited here. You know, this would be a, a major rechanneling. I could see, can't you see that as part of the uh, Nutty Professor car family? It's, you know, it's, it's a nice car, you know. Anyway, bye for now. I've got to go see the CLS. I'll show you that as well. Now, this is the other car. I just arrived here. I haven't talked to the salespeople or anything, or, uh, you know. Uh, but this is a 2006, I think. So the S-Class is 2004. This is two years newer, you know, but um, same era. And this is the sportier version, you know. It's actually less expensive than that. That S-Class, uh, new would have been 120, 110, 120. This would have been 80, you know. Uh, this is a CLS. They call it a coupe, even though it's four doors, you know. But uh, because it's kind of a, you know, a coupe type shape, you know, they call it a four-door coupe, which is, uh, you know, kind of silly. But anyway, uh, I've always liked these cars. Uh, this is exactly very light. The mileage is just too high. Anyway, I'll talk to the guy and let you know what's, uh, what's happening. But uh, I came to see this more just as a comparison. It makes me, it makes that other one look better, you know? Uh, reminded of all kinds of stuff from uh, social psychology and cognitive dissonance and decision making and all of that stuff. But uh, I really like that car. I mean, you know, oh, well, I like the car because of the mileage. The mileage and the condition once it's cleaned up and, you know, and um, a clean title and, you know, a fully loaded top of the line car. Even though as a model, yes, I would certainly prefer this, you know, it's a lot uh, sleeker looking. It's a better size. It's, you know, it's more appealing that way, but, but you know, not with 200,000 kilometers. Anyway, I uh, talked to the guy, but I think, uh, I think I'm going to go back and see if the salesman is in. Uh, uh, you know, I've just got an idea. And if, if I can get a really good deal on it, and if I can get the insurance, collector's insurance, I might go for it. <laughs> It'll be a major rechanneling. The money will be, I'd rather put the money into this than up my nose. Anyway, bye for now. Okay, I'm back in the Mini, and I had a quick talk with the guy. Uh, he got it from auction. It is 200,000 kilometers, you know? And I didn't even really need to see inside, and you know, between a car of about the same year, uh, but one is uh, 200,000 kilometers and the other is 100,000 kilometers, and they're the same price, you know? Even the, and the other one is actually a, was a more expensive car to begin with, you know? Um, even though this is a, a bit sexier, but it doesn't. When you're looking at uh, old cars, you, you have to take other things into consideration. Not just the model, but also the mileage and the conditions and all of that. And at the same price, I would rather have that, you know? So I talked to him, and then I, I told him about the whole collector's car thing, and that uh, uh, the um, uh, insurance people said to me, Guess what, guys? I think I'm buying it. I haven't actually uh, you know, put down a deposit yet, but I've told him I'm going to take it, you know. So uh, we're, we're negotiating the price, you know, uh, this car insurance. Now, if it's not covered under collector's car insurance, I'm probably still going to buy it. I will have to call my regular insurance company, and then we'll have to do the whole, I will uh, take the Pacifica off in the summer and put this one on and in winter this one will go off the road and be stored out in the country garage with the other cars and the pacifica will be on the road during the winters as usual so then i will just alternate but i would prefer to do it the other way and get it under collector's car insurance that way pacifica and um uh, mini will be here as usual and this will go into the rotation this will in summers only this will come uh, for a week, two weeks, maybe longer because it's new to me, you know, at least the first year. Uh, and then I, I drop it, I pick up the Corvette, then I drop the Corvette, pick up the Porsche, and then it'll be a rotation just for the summers. So, um, uh, and it looked to me here, like it's possibly, it's just because it's so dirty, it looked like rust, but he said, no, 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 it's just molding. And I think it is. It's still all sitting here with, you know, dirt and salt on it. No, it's, it's got a rust, you know? I mean, 
like I said, it's almost like a rescue. I'm rescuing this thing, you know? Uh, there's a rescue Mercedes uh, situation here, you know? So, uh, but once I get it off, you know, I get it home and I get it clean. And I got it clean inside and, you know, I, um, uh, oh my God, you know, and I scratch Mercedes. It's a new car to get her. You know, so as long as uh, the negotiations and the price, uh, the, what, what what we decide, uh, and then you know, and it was in my budget, and it's like with tax and you know, and all of that stuff. Uh, so it depends on what you know what he's going to. But I I think we we're, we're in the ballpark now, as long as the insurance, and I would really prefer uh, collector's car insurance. Oh my God, it's almost my car! Can you believe it? Now uh, compare this to the um, to the Acura. Inside, I think I kind of like the Acura uh, more. It was a little bit more. It was a, it was a couple of years newer, but it was a little bit more modern. With that was kind of you know uh, shiny, you know. But this is this is wood, you know. This is like real wood, you know. And it's got the navigation. It doesn't have the push button. It's still a regular key, you know? not metal. But it's a my my 2004 Mercedes had the same kind of thing, you know. Uh, so you got to stick that in there. Uh, Listen to that. That's something, you know? Listen to that, you know? That's it. It's, it's beautiful, you know? Oh, I, you know... Uh, and he said, oh, we can, you can drive. I, I don't even need to drive it. I'm like, you know? Um, so it's got the... You can uh, shift it manually to the manumatic without the uh, clutch uh, in there, you know? Um, and the, the, the best thing about this car is... And I talked to him. He doesn't know because he got it from auction. And he goes, oh, I just got it from auction, but, you know, uh, it's a good car. And he goes, you know, it's, a, it's an old, he's an older Greek guy. And he used to own this entire business, but he sold it a few years ago. And he's just kept that office. And I think he must be paying rent or part of the deal or whatever. So he still does his used car. And I think he has a deal with them because they fix up the cars. And then he sells it for them. And then he gets a commission. And he says it keeps me busy, gives me something to do, you know. You know? So, um, and then he goes, oh, I go to Greece. I get a farm there, and then I was gonna come back. And he said I was thinking of keeping this one, but you know it was a really nice car. But he said, you know, and I said, look, you know, the cars come and go. There's all these cars, you know. Uh, and you know, the fact that I'm giving him almost his asking price, a little less, you know, we're negotiating. But I'm giving him, a, you know, I would have preferred a seven series BMW. But I haven't seen one with this kilometers, you know. Uh, there's one with 130,000 kilometers um, out in London, and I haven't gone to see it yet. And uh, uh, and it's uh, two years older. It's 2002. This is 2004, you know. And I like it. I like it, you know. It's gorgeous, you know. Look at these seats. Uh, and the sunroof, and, you know, uh, uh, when I was researching them, supposedly they have, I don't know if this one has the option. Maybe it doesn't have it. But some of them came with massaging seats. Uh, it's got power. It's got heated. That M, I think, is from memory. It's not from massage, you know? So which is a shame because they wanted the massage seats. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's got heated seats, you know? <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous, you know? It's lovely, you know? Oh, I think it's going to help me stay clear for a while. You know? I just come down and sit in the car. Besides which, I'll be broke. No, he's going to go again. But better, better at going to this than up my nose, as I said before. I love it. You know, I, I am very, very excited. Uh, barring, unless something really, something comes up. And he's going to show me the uh, Carfax tomorrow. Now, there was an accident some years ago. Not recent, but it was an accident. Uh, it was not a write-off or anything. It was like a $7,000 accident, which on this car is not, yeah, I mean, that's like a, a, a fender, you know? A fender and a door uh, to, uh, to be repaired is going to cost you $7,000, you know? So it's not a, that, 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 and I'm going to look at the Carfax and, you know, so there's still some hurdles and I have to also deal with the um, insurance. So, but I think the deal is going, I think, and I haven't driven it, but I can just imagine. I mean, I know what our Cadillac drives like. This will be a lot. Uh, it'll, it'll be a lot sportier. It'll, you know, for a car this size. But it'll be a lot tighter, and you can take corners on this better than the Cadillac. Uh, and you can actually feel the road. That one, you know, you know, it's like you're driving the living room. So this will be like a living room, but you can also get a. You'll get a better feel of the road and everything. It's a uh, eight-cylinder. 
says the Cadillac. But uh, it's uh, it's it's gorgeous. It's the top of the line. It cost one hundred twenty thousand dollars new back in uh, two thousand and four. You know. So I uh, anyway, guys. I'll keep it posted. I gotta go home. I gotta, I'm excited. Tomorrow I gotta call insurance companies and arrange the money and all of that. But uh, it looks like there's gonna be an addition to the and I don't like post this tonight. There's gonna be an addition to the Rashid Car family. Okay, uh, bye for now. This will be number seven. Car number seven. I set the buttons for the seats down there. So these are the heated seat buttons and the uh, power seat buttons. It is found some buttons down here. I suspect this may be for the massager, you know? Gotta see, I gotta see, oh, the, the, um, the handbook, uh, the manual and all that is in there. So if the deal goes through and I buy it, uh, I will have to, first thing is read the manual and figure out how to use the, um, uh, the massaging seat, if that's what it is. It goes one to, it goes zero to five. But I didn't feel anything when it. I'll have to figure it out. It's, it's not a deal breaker. I mean, if it doesn't have massaging seats, that's okay, you know. But uh, but it's nice. That's a beautiful car, you know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> bye for now. Guess what? I pretty much bought it. Now the only and we're picking it up. I'm picking it up tomorrow. We're not wasting a lot of time here. Now the only thing. He didn't even ask for a deposit. He said, I trust you. Now, I've had situations like this before. Long time ago, there was a Cadillac Cimarron, a small Cadillac. And the guy said, oh, don't worry about it. You can come tomorrow. And I don't need a deposit. And I came the next day. And he sold it to someone else who gave me more money because I hadn't actually given a deposit, you know? So, um, but I, I think it's going to be okay here. The thing is sitting there for a couple of months, way inside there. And it's not showing very well. So I don't think that between today and tomorrow anybody is going to come and offer more for it you know so i think it's it's fine he trusts me i trust him and that way and i'm i'm buying it i want it you know I'm, uh, uh the only obstacle now is insurance so i'm going to call tomorrow morning uh collector's insurance and uh, say can you make it it's not on your list but it's a uh, low kilometer 2004 i'm not going to use it it's going to be like you know for pleasure summer cruises you know occasional use it's going into the collection uh it's not going to be a daily user i'm not using it for work or shopping i've got the mini i've got the pacifica uh can you insure it as uh you know can you make an accommodation it is going to be a collector's car for me even though it's not on your list and if they say no then I call my own insurance company. <laughs> then I'm going to have to insure it. Uh, regular insurance, which will be a lot more expensive, like 200 a month rather than 150 a month rather than 150 a year, you know? So it makes a very big difference, collectors versus regular. However, if uh, collectors will not uh, accept the car, that's fine. I will buy it under regular insurance and then uh, I will have to start rotating. So I will get uh, this on the road for now. And then in a couple of months, what I will do is I will call them and say, take the Pacifica off. I'll park it at the garage. We used to do that kind of thing before, uh, before we had the collector's insurance. So I will go, I'll call them. I'll say Pacifica is off the road for the summer. Uh, the Mercedes is on. And the advantage of that is then I can use it, you know, not, I can even take it shopping and stuff. I, uh, you know, uh, if you, if you do a collector's car, then you're not really supposed to use it for, uh, shopping. It's a gray area. I mean, you could say I just took it out to exercise it and I had to stop to pick up some milk and somebody hit me in the parking lot, you know? So, you know, that kind of thing. But it's a kind of a gray area. But, you know, if, if, um, uh, and at least for the first uh, summer, if, if it is under regular insurance, then I don't have to worry about it. I can use it, you know, I can uh, go back and forth. But even with the collector's car insurance, I can go back and forth between your and the house because you're allowed to take it between your residence and your storage. Now, in my case, residence and storage are like 200 miles apart. <laughs> but, you know, uh, uh, you know, but uh, you are allowed, to, and you're allowed to take it on cruises, you're allowed to take it, you know, to uh, on uh, car shows and stuff like that. So, uh, it'll, you know, either way will work. I'm very excited. I just bought a car. <laughs> I think I, I think this will this, this will shut the real wolf up for a while. Energy is going this way. Money is going this way. And I have a car. I mean, you know, it's not up my nose. It's not gone. It's a lot safer. I'm very happy. I'm a very happy, naughty professor. Now I got to go pick up some food, some uh, groceries, and back to the kids. Bye for now. I'm passing as pet smart. I have to. I have to get. Uh, you know. And I. And I washed the mini too earlier. I, you know. I, I passed. It's now much later in the evening. I've been editing and working on the uh, podcast. So we've got uh, the kids here. One baby here. One baby here. 
And Agitha's been in her room, but she's thinking of coming out. She had family time earlier with us, and I told them that, you know, we're very likely getting a, a, a quote, new, unquote, to us car tomorrow. And I exchanged a couple of uh, taxi mails with friends, but uh, it's not 100% yet, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. Anyway, from the one, two, three, and four, myself, of us, bye for now. We'll let you know what happens tomorrow.